Break news coming in the south. Three kidnapped Indians have been rescued from Afghanistan. The Indians were reportedly abducted by Taliban. The MEA spokesperson Syed Agbuddin Oesi has tweeted, and I quote now, thanks to Afghan authorities, three Indians kidnapped have been recently released from captivity. Prem Kumar is reportedly still in custody. Let's get in a word from our associate editor Atir Khan who's joining us on the phone line from the national capital. Atir, a huge headway as far as the case of abducted Indians in Afghanistan is concerned but one person still believed to be in the custody of the Taliban. Well indeed it is, uh, you know, we have, all, uh, we have had very uh, good relations as far as military operations are concerned and uh, in the past also Afghan authorities have cooperated and this time around again uh, three persons uh, who are said to be engineers by profession have been rescued uh, in a military intelligence operation uh, but uh, one person is still in captivity and uh, uh, the agencies are hopeful that uh, soon uh, he will also be rescued but then uh, given the success of this operation uh, the ME has expressed its uh, gratitude towards Afghan authorities for cooperating in this operation. And Arthur, tell us a little more about this case. When exactly were these uh, Indians abducted and is there a threat to other Indians living in Afghanistan as well and what is the Indian government doing about that? Well, you see, since it is a uh, military operations, the uh, ME is also, uh, you know, divulging details which are on a need-to-know basis. Uh, since one person is uh, still in captivity, However, this operation was successful, that's what we've got to know, and uh, the operation is still on, that's why the details are not being divulged. All right, let's get in a word from me today's Reza Lashkar, who's joining us on the phone line. Reza, you've uh, covered this region extensively, we're being told by the MEA now that three Indians have been uh, rescued, they were reportedly abducted by the Taliban. Do, the, do other Indians who are living and working in this area are, all, are also facing a threat from the Taliban? Well, you know, you have to keep in mind that uh, the Taliban is active in a lot of the areas where Indians are involved in aid projects, where India has uh, its consulates. I mean, there was the attack on the consulate in Herat some time ago. And it's even more worrying now because the Lashkar-e Taiba is also active in some of these areas. Uh, of course, uh, the three Indians have been rescued, but uh, the latest reports are suggesting that one Indian is still in captivity. So, you know, obviously this uh, problem hasn't ended. I mean, this is something I guess uh, our security planners and the MEA will be tracking very closely. And is our detail still very sketchy now? The MEA not really revealing how many people were abducted and when we're being told that one person is still believed to be in custody. But uh, when exactly did this abduction take place and how is still not known? Yeah, well, you know, from what I have been able to pick up from uh, people in Kabul is that uh, these uh, engineers were working for, an, uh, for a company called Oasis. They were apparently traveling from Logar uh, province to Kabul three days ago when uh, they were abducted. We still don't know how many people have been abducted so far, but uh, you know, three of them have been rescued and one continues to be in captivity. Right, and uh, Raza, any kind of advisory that uh, the MEA is issuing for uh, Indians who are working in Afghanistan? Well, not to the best of my knowledge. Uh, you know, I mean, I haven't heard of anything so far. Uh, I, I, to be very honest, I'm not aware of any advisory. But I, I guess, you know, ad Indians, uh, as it is, would be, uh, you know, uh, would be, uh, you know, operating with extreme caution in a country like Afghanistan because there have been instances of, in the past of Indians being kidnapped. Absolutely, Reza Lashkar and Atha Khan, thanks so much for that update. We'll continue tracking developments with you. Details still trickling in, but as of now, the MEA confirming that three people have been rescued from the custody of the Taliban.